Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be doing a little bit something different that I was going to do. I was planning to proceed with my Siemens uh, tutorials when it comes out the wiring and then I thought to myself, oh I need a, I kind of don't like the wires around it with the switches and things like that. I thought to myself, I need to get something that's wireless and industrial. So we turn to Schneider. So today we are going to be checking out Schneider's wireless button station, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this guy in here has got a two channels and what he does is he's able to accept a, a signals from uh, wireless buttons. And this button in here, when you, uh, when you push it, is generating enough power to be able to send the signal to this guy to turn things on and off. And he's got some uh, other functionalities in here which are pretty cool, especially for those who uh, wants to have a uh, remote station that you're walking around and things like that and you don't really want a cable coming with you, this is the friend for you. Because uh, you can latch things on, it can uh, pulse things and, and it can uh, start stop things and, and we'll check it out in a minute, we'll have a quick look at it. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool gadget. It is pricing. That's the only thing down out about this product is quite a price here, and I think the set that the, the unit, this unit in here is something about between 150 to 200 pounds here in UK, and the button alone is about 70. So it's quite a pricey thing to have, but it comes with a hell of a lot of benefits if you are looking looking for wireless flexibility. So I'll bring you along, show you how that works, how to set it up, because we're going to be using that, we're using that station more or less in a next upcoming video. So. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first thing as always we do, we're going to go through the product itself. So we have uh, two outputs, Q1 and Q2. We have a uh, little indicator in here. They, they call it the weird names. We're going to call it a uh, latch on and a pulse. And then we have a start stop in here set up here. For that one, for this specific in here, we need a start stop uh, button, we, or an, at least another button. We don't have that one, so we're not going to be playing with that today at all. And obviously, this is a, 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 a communications indicator if there is uh, anything visible. So uh, I believe that's what that indicates is if there's any communications with the button. So. Uh, here in the back, as you can see down here, we have a uh, indication that there's the, both of them are relays. So uh, in a, each one of them can handle three amps. Happy days, pretty good amount. So and as you can see down here, 11 and 21 is our common. 11 and 21 is our common. Uh, 12 is normally closed, and 14 is our normally open. We're going to be playing with 11 and 14 because we're not going to be using that Q2 because I don't have the second button. So uh, as you can see in here, it says uh, 24 volt to 240 volt volt AC in DC. Very generous. We're going to be using uh, we're going to be using 24 volts. So let's do that. So uh, let's uh, put our red one in there. We bought all these cables from our drive right next to it. Which, by the way, guys, is going to be soon in action. We're going to be playing a lot with this system. Are we in there? So another one we're going to do, we are going to a, uh, provide a bottle from this guy. So uh, 24 volts. Come on, seriously? He's messing with me. He was messing me. I beat him. So uh, 11 is our common. So we're going to be sending a voltage out because it's the relay, remember? So we're just going to be uh, closing the relay to send our voltage to our lamp for our testing purposes today. Why not? So, uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so let's have, was it 12? No, it's 14. So 14 is the one that's going to be sending it out once it gets closed off. No, let's undo that. Come on. We're doing this live, boys. Why not for the change? So, and then we're going to have a little uh, light in here to give us a bit of indication that we are doing something right. And that's a 24 volt as well, DC. So, so here we go. So I'm just going to put it in here for testing purposes. So. There we go. Our light is ready. So now let's plug our power in. 
There we go. So first things what we're going to do, we have a cursor button in here that moves just one way. As you can see, it just goes one way, but that's pretty much the circulating from options that we have. And then we have a, a accept button okay in here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to reset the whole thing. And to do that, just hold these buggers together for a, quite some time. So let's do that. So it's going to do all this business flashing. And then it's going to do that. Then it needs to come all on together. Come on. There we go. Then we let it go and we do it again. And that's done. So uh, it, at the moment, that's it. He has uh, forgotten everything. All right, I haven't done that. So uh, next, uh, as you can see, is a button. This button at the moment, as you can see, does pretty much nothing. It just keeps clicking and nothing's happening. So what we need to do, you can choose, we can choose who, which one do we want to teach, Q1 or Q2. We're going to be working with Q1. So to do that, uh, hold the cursor button. I'll call it cursor button until a Q1 uh, flashes. As you can see now, it flashes in a Q1 and then you can go forward and it goes for the Q2. So basically, you just need to choose which one you want to program and then select OK. And then click three times. One, two, three. And there we go. Done. He knows now the button. So from default, there's a little light down there. As you can see, he posted it for a uh, short period of time. Send in a post. And I do believe that post can be adjusted. We're not going to do that today. And there we go. So you have wireless button. So, but we do want this to latch on. So let's have a look. How do we do that? So for that one, let's go uh, click a uh, both buttons together until uh, the Q1 flashes and uh, this guy in here. Whatever you want to call him. There we go. So now it says, now it says in here, as you can see, it flashes twice. And if you look at the manual, uh, twice means the it's pulsing in normal people's language. There's a funny, funny word they have in the manual. I'm not even going to use it. So it's, it's two, two means it's just going to pulse for a short period of time and that's it. So, but we need to latch. For latching is this guy in here, which needs to be four times. So what we need to do, we can use this cursor and there's, well, and there you can go between which button you're going to be teaching this option to. So first we need to say, we're going to be teaching this option to Q1. So let's press OK. So now he knows which button that he needs to teach this to. So now it says, okay, now you can set this one up. So we're going to say, I want that to be a latching. So as you can see, now the light is flashing four times. All we need to do now is click OK. That's it. It's done. So now we're doing that and it stays on. Look at that. How cool is that? You know, you get, you get like a perfectly one button station to do whatever you want to do. That, ladies and gentlemen, is it. So, and plus there's, there's an, another option you can do. You can add the, a, uh, a start stop button. I don't have it, but maybe in the future I do have it. So let me just uh, swap them around. No, this one, this one in here. So uh, here we go. So there is the button. Have a look at it. So there is a button in here. So in, zoom in. I'm not sure you can see or not. How about that? Right. Now you're probably asking, what's the distance? Distance is roughly, Schneider says, 100 meters if there's nothing in the way. So that's ideal situation. No way anybody will ever have that kind of uh, ideal situation. There is transmitters. There is actually a, what they call the amplifiers. So you can use amplifiers if you're using them all the way across the factory somewhere and things like that. But for that, I don't know why would you, but sometimes you do not, you never know. So, uh, uh, but I tested this button. So I got my, uh, uh, what they call the workshop in here. When I go now, so I got like a brick wall and insulation and things like that. So, so I'd say I go behind that one. It did come on, but I was standing behind the door, which is thinner. So then I went to the other side where is uh, literally, I don't know, four meters away from here. I insulated the wall and the brick wall. No, it didn't work. It didn't go through. So it gives you sort of an idea. Uh, how it will work. If it's in a panel or it's somewhere nearby or, the, or, 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 or nothing really thick standing in the way, you'll penetrate pretty good. And they, I would say, Schneider reckons 25 meters, maybe, I don't know. So for me, I tested it. It did work when I gone through, the, through my door. It was going pretty good. I walked quite a, I walked about, I don't know, 10 meters away. Worked really well. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is customer. There's obviously other, the other different uh, buttons you can have. There's like dual station with start stop button and things like that. So 
do check out the uh, the range again i wanted this because i want to because i'm working with a lot of things in here and i just don't want the cable standing away i needed something wireless and here we go so that's thank you very much for schneider only a downside for this is is the price but again if it is for industry for a lot of people that doesn't really matter too much so that'll do for this video thank you, ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed it and it does give you some pretty good ideas what this button can be used especially for those i had so many people requesting me how can i use one button to start and stop the drive here we go here's your option if you have the money go for it so yeah thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen. don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and do like it if you like the video I don't know. I'll see you in the next video.